Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below so that you'll never miss another upload and if you are interested in heat training or straight hair natural content and starting a straight hair natural hair journey be sure to subscribe i give a lot of tips on how to maintain your straight natural hair i do silk press videos wash day routines and i am very big on the health of your hair as well while you're heat training so as for today's video i did want to talk a little bit about how to maintain your hair and your silk press in rainy weather and things like that and also you know things that you will definitely want to check out and have on hand at all times when you have your silk press when you are a straight hair natural in general so let's go ahead and get right into this video when it rains we all know that our hair is going to revert there's nothing you can do if your hair gets wet when it rains it's over the silk press is done so i would highly suggest you go to dollar tree you pick up a rain poncho for a dollar and 25 cents and you have that in your purse at all times for emergencies it comes in so handy trust me so they're gonna look like this get them from dollar tree and they come in so handy because sometimes you don't have an umbrella you don't have a raincoat and you just need something in your purse just in case so i remember a few years ago me and my sister went to a baseball game we decided to bring rain ponchos because there was rain in the forecast that day and we're like hmm I don't think we wanted to take like an umbrella into the baseball game so we just decided to go to Dollar Tree and buy rain ponchos and let me tell you it started to literally pour down rain and we were like right near the field in the dugout seats and we were so glad we had the rain ponchos as soon as the rain came we ran up the stairs put on our rain ponchos and left we went to the garage where the car was parked and it was just Pouring. we had our rain ponchos kept our hair covered our clothes covered we did not get wet the only thing that was wet of course was the rain poncho and we ended up just tossing that once we got in the um, parking garage but it is so important to have a rain poncho on you in your purse trust me also another thing that comes in handy of course of course you gotta have an umbrella at all times I like to keep one in my car and one in the house because sometimes I'll leave my umbrella in the car or in the house and then I'm like oh what am I gonna do it's pouring down rain and I don't have any protection from the rain so I would highly suggest two umbrellas another thing that I would highly suggest if you're starting out and you know you want to buy some things to make sure your hair is always protected from the rain when you have your hair so pressed and straightened out because there's nothing worse than you putting in the work to get your silk press done and you're out in rainy weather and your hair just gets ruined by the rain so another thing that i like to have on hand is a raincoat so this one's from the men's department i believe it's from ross you can get them from ross burlington wherever but make sure you get one with a hood so you just put on the raincoat so as far as my hair when it's down i will go ahead and use a claw clip just to kind of like so my hair's not down and it's not getting wet kind of so i will just do this number put my raincoat on make sure my hair is tucked behind my ears and then make sure it's zipped up and it also has strings so you can tighten it more around your head something like that and then you also use an umbrella that way you have double protection from the rain because sometimes when it rains it also gets really windy and like the 
rain will kind of like blow in your face it'll blow in your hair and everything that is exposed to the rain so i find it very handy to also carry an umbrella as well your hair is less likely to get wet by using the raincoat and the umbrella together so another thing that i find helpful to have when you're trying to maintain your straight natural hair is a neck fan now this is the one that i have i know they sell other versions of a neck fan the ones that kind of like wrap around your neck but this one only takes two double a batteries so you can always carry you know extra batteries in your purse you know when this does die so what you do is just put this around your neck and you just turn it on and it just blows cool air like up your neck so if you're in the city like last year I went to DC we were walking around we saw you know the Martin Luther King monuments we went to the zoo it was like 90 degrees so if you are out and about and it's hot you take this claw clip so that your hair is not on your neck and you're not because I tend to sweat out the nape of my neck tends to sweat out the quickest so um, I just like to make sure I don't have hair resting anywhere on my neck and this keeps you so cool it blows cool air like right up your neck so that your neck's not getting sweaty so it's very very <laughs> handy to have these little neck fans they come in so clutch when it's super humid and hot outside and you're outside you know walking around in the elements in the heat and humidity trust me you're gonna want to invest in one of these neck fans so if you're a person that gets sweaty a lot when you work out of course not strenuous workouts because this is just gonna move around and things like that but if you're just doing low impact walking type workouts things like that this will help you know with the sweatiness as well flat irons like it is very very important to have a good flat iron when you're heat training when you're a straight hair natural it just comes in so handy and a lot of people ask me how i you know keep my hair from reverting when it's hot out so i feel like one thing that has helped me so much it's a flat iron that I use now I invested in this FHI heat flat iron like this compared to my other flat iron this keeps my hair from reverting if there's one thing that I've noticed it's this flat iron this has been a very very big help as far as my hair getting puffy it doesn't get puffy anymore and this is one week hair and it's been in like the 90s the whole week so it hasn't reverted at all it's super straight and my hair will stay like this until I wash it like it doesn't revert um, it's just amazing I really like the plates they're really smooth they make my hair shiny so the last thing i wanted to mention is keeping your hair wrapped at night i know you've heard me say that a million times on my channel and also i have a whole routine on how i wrap my hair at night and also how i you know kind of put on my shower cap to keep my hair from getting wet in the shower as well so be sure to check that video out i will leave it up in the cards and down below in the description box but Wrapping your hair is so important when you're straight hair natural to maintain your silk press as well as to retain moisture in your hair. Like that's the big thing. Like I don't rarely have to go in and add moisturizer or product to my hair. I wrap my hair every night and it stays moisturized. It stays silky. It stays soft. Period. So please invest in some bonnets and please invest in some satin scarves. And all of those things to keep your hair healthy while you're sleeping so that your hair is not rubbing against your pillowcase, your bare naked hair, causing that friction and causing your ends to break off, your hair to become dry because all of the moisture is being absorbed into your cotton pillowcase. We don't want that. So please, bonnets, headscarves, satin material, things like this 
please use so that we're keeping our hair healthy. So that is it for today's video. I hope you found these tips helpful and I hope this gives you some ideas on what you can keep on hand at all times to maintain your hair and your silk press. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.